Yeah, man. So, you know, you, you ended up in, in a real estate business. Why did you start off in, in the single family flipping niche? Was it, was it because, well, you okay. know, I was fresh out of the Navy. I had no idea what I was doing. You know, I just found luckily a good set of mentors. And this, remember, this is long before YouTube, before you could get resources. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, there were some of those like DVD sets that you could buy, like the, the late night infomercial DVD sets. Yeah. But other than that, there was really no source of information out there. You basically either had to figure it out on your own and screw up a lot, or hopefully be mentored and kind of work with somebody else that knew the industry. And most people were not willing to share their knowledge. Yep. So if you wanted to work, you know, and learn from them, you almost kind of had to learn on the side without them realizing that you were paying attention to it. Man, that is so true because, you know, when I started, you know, a lot of people ask me who mentored you and, you know, <laughs> how did you get, I honestly, I didn't have a mentor. I kind of, I just rolled up my sleeves and I figured it out as I went on. You did it the hard way. Yep. I did it the hard way. And I didn't know because I didn't know about the information space back then. It wasn't like right. it is today. Everybody's a guru today, right? So <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Uh, <laughs> you know, and that's that's kind of what I, why I said that earlier on the podcast, you know, there's guys who are literally uh who've never they probably done one deal and they're out here teaching people how to do this. Or they've I, wholesaled one or two deals and that's yeah, about it. I don't agree with that. And and then, you know, unfortunately, people um they don't know what to believe, but these good these a lot of these guys are such great marketers that they'll make yep. you believe that they they've been doing it for so long and, and then they you know unfortunately well, and they were also making they were making money when everything was easy that too you know everybody's an expert when it, when the economy is great exactly you know, someone that can actually make money right now when the economy is kind of you know it, it yep. sucks you know those are the people that know what's going on a really multi-unit would be two to four units so uh why is this a great way to uh start building up a rental portfolio well you have so many different options when you get whether it's a one to four or if you want the multifamily two to four there you know you were mentioning before the fha loans if you as an investor if you can come up with three and a half percent down even if your credit is not perfect it just has to not be horrible as long as it's you know average credit score you can get an fha loan that's a fixed rate for 30 years you move into the property and we'll get to how to find them in a little bit but you can move into the property with like less than four percent down three and a half plus your closing costs and sometimes you can even wrap your closing costs into it you can live in that property for one year rent out your other one or two units depending on what you get that money that's coming in from your rental will pay your mortgage FHA only requires that you live in that property for one year. One year later, you can go buy a second one, rent out the first one completely, and just keep rinse and repeat that process over and over. Somebody that's young and just getting started in that, you can do that three, four, five times and build up a multi-million dollar portfolio very, very easily. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, what you're doing is house hacking at that point. Exactly. Honestly, if I was starting out, it was my first one and I, 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 you know, the FHA is a great option, but let's just say you don't have that three and a half percent down. Hey, no harm. I would go out there and I would hustle and find deals. I love seller financed properties mm -hmm. and there's so many great ways to find properties, you know, even sometimes just stupid things that you can do, contact the local water department yep. and say, hey, can I get a list of all the properties in your area that are multifamily that have not had, you know, or, you know, have had issues, you know, are, are the, is there any water that's past due? Are there any properties that, you know, maybe they shut the water off? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, there's no tenants in that building, but if there's no water going to that building and there's an owner somewhere, you, you take that list and you go down the list and if you see, okay, Johnny's Investments LLC, all right, that's a company, don't worry about it. You see, you know, Betsy and Johnny Smith, all right, I'm calling Betsy and Johnny Smith and I'm gonna contact them and say, hey, I see you've got this property over here. Do you, are you interested in selling it? And that has been one of the best options on getting properties and it's usually, you know, either, They've had it for 10, 15 years. They've moved down south. They live in Florida now. The property's in upstate New York or Pennsylvania or whatever. And they know it's there. They're not stupid. They just, they don't have the energy. They don't have the time and they just right. don't really care. It doesn't cost them anything. They've already paid off their mortgage. It's just kind of there. And those are some of the best deals that when you contact them and you say, you know, 
all right, guys, I, I would love to get this property. You know, you, you don't, I'm not going to advocate lying to them. You, you don't lie to them, but you don't go and say, hey, I'm an investor and I want to buy your, you know, great deal here. You just come to them humbly and just say, hey, I'm looking to buy a property in your area. I think this one would be a great one for me to move into and rent out the other units. You know, can we work out a deal where I pay you X dollars per month? And yeah. those, you know, that's, that's, those are excellent deals that you can get. Absolutely. I think uh, ways of getting started uh, when you don't have the capital, you don't have the money as well. So you, you yeah, like, like in the very beginning, when I got started, I had the investors that I worked for, they helped finance some of the properties yeah. and also on the side, obviously, you know, I'm a, I, I do real estate and I do the um, YouTube channels, technology, et cetera. On the side, I'm a volunteer paramedic. So I spend a lot of my time in the hospitals where I'm constantly meeting doctors. Yeah. And I don't know if you know many doctors, but doctors have incredibly long schedules. They work very, very hard, long shifts. They don't have the time to go out and look for investments, but they make very good money. Yep. So it's very easy to approach some Perfect of them. scenario, and man. Exactly. As you go, hey, doc, you know, I, this is a great deal. Here's the property I'm looking at. You know, let's go in on this. You front the money. I'll do the work for you. Yeah. And, you know, those work out really well as well. Yeah, man. Great way to get started. Great way to build some capital as well.